What's the damn deal? It's Big Drake, never the fucking little one. And back with another banger with Michaela. And we're here with part two. Period. Oops. <laughs> two times. All right. So look, to like piggyback on what we came up with, we answered like a lot of questions. Wait, pause, pause. If you are clicking on part two first, please go click on part one, watch part one, and then come back to this one so you know what we are talking about. Yeah. Okay. Now you can come. A whole bunch of tech shit. You're right, bro. A whole bunch of tech shit. So. I'm going to say crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, get a little close to me. You're kind of far from me. Okay. So, I'm going to get straight into the questions because I learned a lot last time. And I'm ready to learn some more. Okay. All right. So, what are the hardest and easiest things about transitioning from a toxic relationship to a healthy one? The hardest, hardest and easiest. easiest. Yeah. Um, it can be more than one thing. Okay. For me, I'm going to start with hardest. Okay. The hardest things would probably be the fear. Like... You do your hardest, I'm going to do mine. Okay. To me, it's more like the fear because, like I said, there's so many different types of, like, toxic shit. Like, not just one thing is toxic. There's multiple different traits that can be toxic. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it's more the fear of, like, running into that again. Like, I don't... I dealt like with getting it. treated the same way? Right. Like, I dealt with it. I don't want to do it again. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that way. I don't want... Over that shit. Yeah. Like, I don't want to encounter it again. So, it's more like the fear. Because, like, say with me and you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I like you so, so much. But then, like, you do something toxic. Like, I'm like, damn, here we go again. Like, That's you know it. what I'm saying? And, like, you feel like I'm... Now I'm in too fucking deep. What I'm going to do? Like, I love this feelings person. feelings involved. I love and, this person. And you're not trying to go through this rodeo again. Exactly. So, for me, the hardest thing would probably be the fear okay the hardest thing for me would be trying to leave shit that i have been through mm -hmm. in the past mm -hmm. in the past like because certain shit will trigger you right and it's hard right. to just not like to avoid the trigger like damn hold on whoa right. whoa this right. shit sound like deja vu like right 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 like Mm. I completely agree with that though. Like, That's probably like actions, the second thing on my list. Words like had on some crazy shit. Like you ever watched the movie? Like somebody like they used to get like physically abused and like somebody like lift their hand and up, like go get some shit. And they jump and like yeah, it's undeniable. Like you gonna go through that shit mm -hmm. because you're traumatized from toxic shit. Stop doing toxic shit, people. Before we even continue this, I really want to say stop making like stop letting being toxic be something i find attractive cute or something that's just not cute like i be i be seeing shit that's like um yeah such and such and such like no that shit's not cute and you're gonna realize that sooner or later you're like you're gonna fuck yourself up you're gonna fuck somebody else up you're gonna just go through the worst time because of you think that it's cute okay yeah that shit is like but i fully agree on that because I mean, we already kind of know that, though. Mm -hmm. Like, we have had, like, little arguments or whatever the case may be, and we both have said some stuff or, like, realized, like, babe, that reminds me of a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, but that's the healthy way to handle that, to, to yeah. let your partner know, hold on, you can't handle me this way, or mm -hmm. you can't say certain shit a certain way. A certain way, exactly. Because, like, we, we've already, like, kind of, like, Loki kind of figured it out, and then, like, now that we've communicated, it hasn't happened. Like, we don't... It doesn't be done the same way ever again. So, like, I love it here. But that just shows how much we care about making it right for each other. Right. True. Okay. Okay, we got to put the easiest. What's the easiest? Oh, damn. The easiest? Yeah, you go first on this one. It's being happy. Like, I went from being miserable, like, damn near depressed, like, didn't want to talk to nobody, couldn't talk to nobody, couldn't see nobody, mm -hmm. to... Just not giving a fuck and just being happy. Right. And could care who less gave a fuck if I was happy or if I wasn't. Right. I feel that. Okay. For me, it's going to be the easiest thing. What well, well, what makes it easier is honesty to me. Like, 
I, when me and Dre first dead ass met, like dead ass, we had a deep ass conversation. Mm -hmm. Deep, just deep. Like just putting it all out on the fucking table. Like she heard what I had to say. I heard what she had to say. I heard what she been through. She heard what I been through. And then we picked like whether or not we wanted to continue. Like, and we knew for a fact that we wanted to do better for ourselves. We wanted actual happiness and genuinely genuine happiness. So I think like the honesty helped so much. Like if we were like more standoffish and scared to open back up, I feel like it wouldn't have been as I think it's cuz we didn't expect it either. Which is true, yeah. Like we just started off of like initial attraction mm -hmm. and then it got deeper. Mm -hmm. And then since we did open up, it just made like everything like Flow. clear, like mm -hmm. just just so transparent that it was like Damn, let me handle her the right way. Right, same. Because I know where she been. Okay. What did I do and what did you do to create a less toxic environment? So I think, for me, what made this environment different less toxic and more healthy for me was like the freedom and the trust like those were two things that like mm -hmm. i gotta have just the simple fact that you give me the freedom and the trust it makes me not even want to go be right free like right right right, right. not like i'm a slave y'all just not like free. yeah like the crazy part is like the thing i was gonna say for myself like what i think i done was that Mm -hmm. Like, it's up to you. Like, you you decide if you want this. Like, I'm mm -hmm. not going to force you. I'm not going to hold you back. Like, you're deciding. And I feel I never did that before. And I was just like, you and know I what? And I ambushed my way in your whole life. Mm -hmm. Hey, and sis. I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my whole family, shut up. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> okay, not dad. Pop? No. <laughs> I'm talking about. Jeff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, but the crazy part is though, like, that's exactly what I was gonna say for myself. Like, I've never, I've ne only because of what people have shown me though. But like, like I said, she told me what she's done. She told me what she's been through. She told me everything, and I decided like, okay, well let's try something different. Like, mm -hmm. she met me outside. I met her outside. If we feel like we want to go out to the club. We were just doing it apart. Why do I have to now start being like, no, you can't go. No, you can't do this. No, like, do it, please. The trust is there. Like, please go and do it. Like, just please do it. Like, that's all. I feel the exact same. That's so crazy. Okay. So, like, what all changes did you make in yourself, like, before, like, coming into this? Within myself. Mm hmm Do I? Let me see. I feel like for me, I've always had my guard up with like everything and everybody. So I feel like the change I made was if I ever do want to get serious with somebody again, I made myself like more vulnerable for mm -hmm. it. So like going into it, I was honest, I was open and I opened the little door, mm -hmm. you know, for you to get in. So I didn't hold that other shit like that I would have beforehand because I was like, hell no, you know. I was supposed to be a whole ass nigga with my best friend. We was to be supposed to be eighty in our rocking chairs, like still doing the same dumb shit. Right, right. Okay, for me, I just had it in my head. What was good. the question again? Uh, what changes did you make? Oh, honestly, I learned to love myself. Mm, that's a I, good one. I learned to put myself first. Like, like at the end of the day, if Dre would decide to walk away from me. I, if I did not love myself, I would lose myself. And I lost myself once and I can't do it again. So, like, I learned to love myself and make sure that I'm good with me and that I'm comfortable with every situation I put myself in. Because can't nobody force me to do anything. Can't nobody tell me or make me do nothing. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure that I'm comfortable with what I'm choosing to do. Like, I really sit down. And I think I sit down more and I think about shit rather than just doing shit now. Sound like a little maturity to me. Thanks. But that, that self-love is definitely hard to find. Hell, I'm older than you, and you found it at a younger age than I did. 
it's I think it's all about like shit that people be going through too though. Like mm-hmm. like you've been through a whole bunch of shit, but I've been through a whole bunch of shit, but I'm just so much younger. And so if I continue doing what I used to do or how I used to be treated and whatever, like just imagine how bad it could get for me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I've seen every, a whole bunch of people around me just be so low, so down bad, so everything because of relationships. The relationships. And I, I just pick better for myself. That's pretty much all it Hell, is. Hell, we watch each other grow. Because we both, well, I came at the end of, I came in your happiness starting to, but you came unexpectedly, mm-hmm. like, watching shit happen to me. I know. After I left. Mm-hmm. Cause I was gone. Yeah, you was gone. You. Yeah, I was gone. Then I met you. Yeah, and I watched you go through the stress. Yeah, a lot. And how that shit like beat my ass up, like just stressed out over that dumb shit. So, do you think we'll ever become toxic? No. I don't think so either. I really don't. I just, I don't know. I don't. I just think that like it's so much different. Like in any other relationship that I've been in, it's more like. You're saying shit that sounds good, but right now, it feels right. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the things that I tell you or the conversations that we have, you know, about the future, whatever the case may be, it sounds and feels right. Like, in the past, I've said shit, and I've, like, you know, made a conversation per usual. Like, everybody sits down and tries to talk about the future with somebody that they're talking to or whatever. But, like, now that I actually, it feels right, I look back and I'm like, damn, I was just talking bullshit. Like, I was just talking on my ass. But it just feels so right that I would never want to mess it up. And I know that that can mess it up for real. I don't think we'll ever become toxic either. I just don't feel like we have it in us no more. Granted, like I said, anybody has been through something is going to have traumatic experiences that they're going to have to deal with and work through. And we're growing. Mm Mm-hmm. And we see the shit that, like, how other shit has affected us. So, yeah, I we, th- we don't want to see each other hurt mm-hmm. in no type of way like that. No more. Factual. Um, do you want to be toxic? In a bedroom. Only. All the toxic. All the toxic. <laughs> but no. I have no, I have no room for it. My happiness overtakes it. I have no space. No energy. Mm-hmm. Except when I took that ass up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so why do you consider this a healthy relationship? Because we don't yell at each other. I'ma say. Yeah, you go first. I'ma say how you word it. Because our communication is effective. We have time, but we be like, oh, uh, uh, I'm not trying to hear what you guys say. But at the end of the day, we still hear that shit. Mm-hmm. And we work on it to get mm-hmm. better. So, like, I don't. I have a different answer than that, but I, I fully agree with that, though. I really, really do. Because, like, every time I tell you something, or whatever the case may be, like. I try to work on it. You really do work on it. Mmm. What was the question again? Why do I consider this a healthy relationship? Mm-hmm. How can I word this? I'm really trying to think. Why do you consider this relationship healthy? I don't know. It just feels... I don't know. Like, it just feels just so the way, the way real. you feel? I think the way I feel, the way you make me feel, and the way I feel like I make you feel. Like, it just... All three sides of the story match the fuck up. Exactly. Like, it's no different feelings come coming from any direction. Like, the way you treat me is the way I treat you. And, like, it, we just reciprocate each other's the energy. Mutual respect. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that's a big thing. Like... It's like we're giving each other 50-50. Like, we're always meeting in the middle. Well, except for sometimes I'm a little bit stubborn. But we're always, for the most part, like, trying to meet in the middle. Like, where somebody's lacking, we're trying to fill it in. And, like, where somebody needs help, we're trying to fill it in, like, for each other. So, like, I feel like 
it has a lot to do with how we're like helping each other grow as well. I don't know, but the communication one is on point though, cause that's so true. Okay. What can we do to continue on a healthy path? Keep doing what you're doing. Same shit. Same shit. And just keep loving me. The way you love like me. literally, same shit. I couldn't ask you to change. Like everything is just oh, so perfect. It's like, I'm gonna have to do something to me. It's like so smooth. It's like smooth sails. Even though we might hit a rock, we're not the Titanic because we're not going down. We hit a bumpy road sometimes. Kick that road, kick that little rock out the way. We, yeah, like we hit little small little. Do, 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 do. But then we just coast back. We like realize we, just, we 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 realize pretty damn quick what we mean to each other, mm -hmm. and we know we're not going nowhere. So. Exactly. So we just get over it, whatever the case may be. Like we just fix it. So. Work through it is the best thing. Cause sometimes brushing shit under the rug don't really make the situation better. Like work through that shit. Yeah, and honestly. She's taught me that because I'm the type that will, like, I was the type. Huh? See? I was the type that, like, we'll be arguing, and if we're not seeing eye to eye, shut up talking about it. Let's, let's end it. Like, let's end the conversation, and I would not be trying to listen. But then she's made me be like, Brienne, listen to what I'm trying to say. Listen to this, listen to that. And it made me, like, really start paying attention to what she had to say. And then it really started affecting our relationship, like, okay, I'm listening, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that. So, yeah, don't don't just brush it off. Because the more you try to hide it and hide your emotions and not be in tune with yourself and your emotions and really want to face your feelings, it just builds up and builds up. And the day you have a breakdown, it's going to be really hard to, like, get through. And that's all the, all the healthy questions I got for you. Mm. Oh, I love it here. We came a long way. I love it here. We came a long way. And I feel like the crazy thing is, though, like, even some of our closest friends don't know everything. Like, hell, they probably don't even believe, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people ain't never seen me in no situation like this. Like, I had been in, like, a five-year relationship, and I never, like, posted this shit. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's they see a different side of me. I'm always, like, I'm, I would, I Try to find an excuse to go to the club without my significant other. Mm -hmm. When you see me, you see her. When you see her, you know I'm a step beside, behind, in front. I'm right there. Right. I don't, I treat it so much different. Like, I don't want to be nowhere without you. Like, at first I used to try to run from that shit. Right. And then another, like, really healthy thing. I think we already talked about it, but it's like, like how she said, you see me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um... But it's the fact that when we want to do whatever we want to do, it's never a problem. Oh, yeah, we give each other space for sure. Like, she be going places, I be going places. We got our own, like, outside shit that we have going on. But then, like, we just know what we're coming home to. We just know what's, like, really there for us. It's so crazy. It just feels so good, y'all. It just feels so good. It do. I would never disagree on that. Oh, no, but like I was saying, though, like, even some of our, like, friends don't even know how exactly we got in this position that we're in right now. They don't, like, when we, idea. and then when we argue or whatever the case may be, like, we don't just go and tell everybody. We don't, I we wouldn't don't even share. say we argue. Sometimes we just disagree, disagree like any other human will. Like, right. But you know, like, and I feel like that's another thing. Stop putting everything into the public. Like Ooh. the public, everything ain't for everybody. Uh, the public eye will make you like, really start like if you tweet something somebody agrees with it it's gonna make your situation worse because you just got pumped up you just got to the point where like oh see i'm not in the wrong i'm not wrong but see that ain't even really like the issue for me the issue for me is like if you go do that and you tweet this and that now you now, putting people now, now they business. see it's it's not it, it's you not, ain't got a chance to get in right partner right 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 <laughs> don't think so who's partner baby whoever who fucking ever fuck Half the time you be tweeting shit, I be knowing I ain't do shit, bro. I be like, man, nigga, you tweeting some shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I be, but for me, like, my social medias is more I'm tweeting so people, like, like people relate. And it just gets more activity. Yeah, so don't think it got shit to do with what's going on over here. Yeah, like, I really be just, I just be tweeting shit. And I got a draft full of shit, and it's coming out. So it's just going to be posted. <laughs> oh, my God. Not, not Twitter fingers draft. Ready to release that hug. No, really, like I have shit that I like. It's like I, your diary, then. It's kind of 
kind of. And then, like, I'll be driving, and I'll think of, like... A lot of the tweets. Yeah, and then I'll draft it. On some shit. And so, when I tweet stuff, for the most part, it don't be from that day or that moment. Like, it really don't. Like, it be drafts. Out the ass. You know what's crazy to me is we had more shit to say about the healthy shit than we did the toxic shit. That tells you where we are in life. Which is factual. Mm-hmm. Which is it factual was easier to talk about this shit. Because the toxic shit is something that you we don't want to touch bases with. Past. Like, we don't want to deal with it. Like, it's something that we want to help y'all. Like, if y'all want advice or something. But, like, for the most part, like, we don't really bring up shit. We don't really, like, we talked about it. We understood. And we don't really, like say too much about it like there's nothing more about it like we moved on and we're just like here now just living it up living life not but for me it was more of a i from the beginning Mm -hmm. of me and you popping out Mm -hmm. it was like don't hurt her don't hurt her don't hurt her right y'all don't know shit about me i went through the same shit and she seen the shit like go down there right right. like so i'm like damn don't hurt me i don't want to be hurt (laughs) <laughs> shit which is true like they would be like everybody would be that, in the still comments still to this day don't hurt my girl Michaela. yeah like damn but that just goes to prove that like like the shit that I went through was so fucking real like all y'all like for the most part most of y'all like seen shit y'all done seen a whole bunch of crazy shit so like it's more like y'all seen what I was y'all seen where I was at now look at me now like genuinely glow it up Genuinely, yeah. 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 genuinely happy and just yeah. living my life, just trying to just find my way with my wife. You found it with my wife. You found it. Now we gonna steer this bitch together. Come on. Mm-hmm. What music we listening to? Whatever you wanna listen to. I like Christmas music. It's not Christmas time. It's always Christmas All time. All I want for Christmas, Christmas is you. <laughs> but yeah so i guess that's it i guess that was um the last of the bunch that was a good little good little talk i like that one it was a good little talk so thank y'all like comment what y'all want to see next subscribe turn like on them sus- subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> turn on them post notification bells because Dropping all that shit. Good shit. shit. Y'all ain't looking at me, bro. Damn. All right. So, thank y'all for tuning in to part two. It's y'all been real. gotta go home. But y'all gotta get the hell up out of here. Nah, I love that. <laughs> it looks like you lost another one.